Hey guys, so today I'm going to be opening up and taking a look at the Gourmet Kitchen set from the Truly Me collection from American Girl. It retails for $225 and I'm so excited about this set because it comes with a lot of food pieces and I love doll sized food items and it looks like a really good quality piece. So let's get it out of the box and take a look at it. Feels like Sunday morning. So got my day job, but I feel so free. Baby, I go anywhere. As long as you'll be there. It's just you and me. You shine so bright. You help me see. Your eyes. Here are the first five pieces that come in the set. So we have some baking oats, some apple cinnamon stars, pet food, brown sugar, and baking soda, and they all come in different shapes and sizes. The next pieces look really yummy and very realistic. So we have four pieces of brownies, and there's one turned upside down to show you guys what it looks like on the bottom, but on the top there's icing sugar to make it look really realistic, and next to that there are four chocolate chip cookies. The next two pieces is a bread pan and a toaster. It's really cool because this set comes with bread as well. So here we have half a loaf of bread and this part's not toasted, it just looks like plain bread. And let's just push that back in. And I like how you can remove the pieces. And then there are three extra pieces of toast that comes on the side. What's really fun is you can put it in the toaster, let it cook, and then you can pop it out and then it has the American Girl logo on the side and you can put it in here so it makes a complete loaf. These two pieces are two baskets of berries so one side we have some really nice berries and what's really cool is you can remove them and on this side there's strawberries and these pieces remind me a lot of pieces that would come from Leah's set. Of course you need these two items while cooking in a kitchen there is a pot and a pan, and I love the bright blue and the pink colors that they've added to give the set a perfect touch. The next four items are two bowls and two plates. The bowls are a pink color with an American Girl logo star in the middle, which is white. And next to that, the two plates have really fun designs on them, and I love the bright colors. So the dolls can eat properly. This set comes with two spoons and two forks. I think these two items have to be my most favorite items in the whole set and it's sugar and flour and what's really cool is when you shake it around so do the pieces inside and it just makes it look so much more realistic. So this says sugar and it has a pink design on it and the flour one has a blue design. You can't remove anything because everything would obviously fall out but it's still so awesome and I think it will give the set a really awesome look. Here we have some eggs, milk and vegetable oil. Next we have the salt and pepper shaker and the salt is really similar to the flour and sugar where the little pieces inside move around when you shake the salt around. Next we have a whisk, a wooden spoon which is actually plastic but it has a wooden design on it and a spatula. I love the pink and orange it has on the spatula and the whisk. Here we have a really bright set of measuring spoons, a butter knife and some measuring cups. The next couple pieces are really fun, so there's a little recipe box and then there's a set of recipes at the end and you're meant to put that inside so then when you pick it out you know how to make a dish and in the middle there is a pretend marker. And on the top there's a really cool American Girl star. 
There are eight spice jars and it also comes with a sheet of stickers. You're meant to put the stickers on the spice jar so you can decorate them and so the dolls knows what's inside of the spice jar. And there are also two cups. Next we have a rolling pin, some dough and also butter. And what's really cool is there's a lid so you can close it up. The next item is a mixing bowl that is yellow and a tray. The apron and the hot pad are really adorable. So they're pink with darker pink polka dots on them and I love how they're matching. One of my favorite pieces from Grace's kitchen set was her mixer so I'm so happy that they've added this piece to the set as well. And instead of a blue color, this is a really peachy orange color which is so pretty. What's really fun is you can push this down and you can switch it on and off and it, you can change this around. Here we have a bowl. So let me just put it in here and then push it down and it mixes all the things inside. So let me change this around and let me add this one in. And it's really easy and simple to change as well. And then push this down and it does the same thing. So it's really cool and you can let it keep on going for as long as you want. I'm not sure if it stops eventually, but I'm going to stop it now and take this out. Now it's time to take a look at the kitchen piece. It's a really nice set and I really like how good quality it is. There's so many different drawers and there's even the trash can and compartments. And I love how everything just opens and closes really nicely and the knobs and then we have those drawers down there and the fridge and I just really like it and now it's time to set it up. The first items that I'll be putting away are the forks and spoons so the utensils so that can go on the top here so it's easy to grab and I'll just close that. The two sections on the side next to the oven are perfect to put cups, bowls and plates so on the top The cups can go there, and on the bottom we have the plates and the bowls. Of course the dolls will have to be cooking something in the oven, so let's open it up. And I've just placed four cookies on the tray, and they look so yummy, and I'm sure they'll be ready to eat soon. The next section I'll be filling up is the fridge. So let's open it up. And on the bottom area, I'll just be putting the fruit down. We have some strawberries and they look really yummy. And on the top section, I'll just be putting some fresh eggs, milk, and of course, butter. Underneath the bench, there are two sections and they're quite large, so I'm going to be placing larger items. The first thing we have is the toaster, and I just love the green color on the pale blue and this bright yellow mixing bowl. This huge section in the back is meant to have the mixer, but I am going to be placing it on the top, so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, so let me just quickly remove it. Before I show you guys the dog section in the bottom, I'm just going to be quickly placing the hot bag on the top here on this little hook. There is really cool because there is a bell. I'll remove this in a second. But this drawer contains dog food and water or pet food. What's really fun about it is that you can remove the food so it's like the pets have eaten it all. And then you can put it back and you can close it up again. But I'm going to leave it out like that. And here's what the bell looks like. It's really cool. And you can ding it. Now I'm just going to be adding the cabinet onto the set. So it's quite large and there's two holes so it stays in. And you just need to push it down and it stays really nice and sturdy. It's now time to add items to the cabinet. So on the first section we have some boxes. So we have the apple cinnamon stars that can go right there. And then the baking oats can go right on the back. And last but not least, we have the baking soda. In the middle section, I'm just going to be putting down the brown sugar, the vegetable oil, and some flour. On the last section, I'll just have the sugar, 
and also the recipe box. What's really fun is on the side of the cabinet, there's a little grocery list and the milk is actually being crossed out and the other items are banana, chalk chips, and carrots and celery. You can't actually write anything on it, but I think that's a really great feature. And I'm just gonna be placing the marker here and there's a little holder so it stays. On the side of the pet section, I'm just gonna have the pet food box just so it's easy to top up. On the back, there's a small hook so you can hang the apron. On one side of the stove, I'm just going to have the pot placed here and then the wooden spoon, which is actually plastic, inside. The sink needs a tap to be able to wash all of their bowls and plates, so I'm just going to push this down and bring this forward. And it's really cool because you can remove it. It doesn't actually squirt out water, but it's still a really nice feature. In this section, there's actually meant to be a pole where the square is, so I'm just going to push that down nice and tightly so it stays. And then you can attach everything so all of the spatulas and things like that can hang along here. The rack is quite sturdy and heavy, so it'll be good because if you want to attach a lot of items on the hooks, it will stay, and you just have to slide it down and it stays really secure and what I like is that there's hooks on either side so you can attach it on this side or this side. On the first hook I'm just going to be placing the measuring spoons and on the second I'll be hanging up the spatula and next we have the pan. Here we have the whisk and the last couple items are the measuring cups but I'm going to have to put two on the back and two on the front so they easily stay on and they don't fall off. I'm sure you can put all four on one, but I'd rather separate it. And they all look really cool. What's really fun is that there's eight jars and there's also a sticker sheet. And what's really fun is that you can stick the stickers on the jars and you can choose the different types. There's extra, so there's a lot to choose from. So I only have to do one left. And this one's rosemary. And there's so many different spices to choose from. They're really cool and I love the colors. And the sticker is for the bottom. That's for the board on the side underneath the grocery list. So it looks like you wrote stuff on the bottom. It's now time to put the spice jars away, but first I'm going to put the salt and pepper down because they're definitely great places to put so they're easy to grab. And then now for the spice jars, I read some of them out. So there's rosemary, nutmeg. It's going to be kind of hard to put them away with these pieces, but that's okay. And let's choose a different color. There's cinnamon. I'll pick that up later. There's parsley, and let's do the bottom. Then we have nutmeg, ginger, basil, and garlic. The bread is going to be placed here, and so is the butter knife. I'm just going to have the mixer here next to the sink and some really yummy brownies next to it. Next we have some dough and last but not least, a rolling pin. And the last item and the item that I actually forgot to talk about is this chair and I think it's quite a random piece in the set because it's purple and in the website they show it being blue. It doesn't really suit anything in the set. I'd like it to be a mint blue or even an orange to match the mixer. There's just nothing that's really purple in the set. So it's a very random piece. It looks like that I just got a piece from my cupboard and just added it in because I needed a chair. But it's still really good quality. It's really sturdy and I love the design. But I just wish it was orange or blue or the same color blue it's shown on the website. So here I have Bowie, and Bowie is a truly me pet, and as you can see, the sizing's really good for Bowie, and Bowie can ding the bell if she wants some food or water, and then she can eat the food and drink the water. 
Matilda Grace has come to check on the cookies because she has such a sweet tooth and she loves to bake so she's helping Ginger and Willa out and it's really cool because the brownies are already finished but the cookies are nearly done. Ginger is a My American Girl Truly Me doll and she is wearing the apron. The apron fits her really nicely and she's wearing an adorable dress and the dress is pretty much the same size as the apron and she has the rolling pin and she's just rolling the dough and getting the next item prepared to be baked or cooked. Willa's job is to be in charge of the mixer so she presses the button when she needs to so everything can mix and she's also there for the cookies so when the cookies finish she'll definitely be there to steal one. As you can see the AJOSF family is having so much fun with the set. Matilda Grace and Ginger and Willa all love the pieces and I definitely do recommend the kitchen set. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Good and you can just Oh!